it was a tough ride guys let me tell you that it took me a while until i really became profitable like especially the emotional intelligence part the discipline part was not easy for me to to, to manage <laughs> Yo, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, team? I hope you're all having a good time. It's Rafael back at the charts again. And in today's video, we are going to talk about this week's trading session so far. I took some trades on Monday. As you might know, if you're following me on uh, on my Telegram channel, um, you probably see me trading a lot on Monday. It was not so good. Monday was pretty tough. I ended up taking a, a loss. I think I lost like around a little bit more than 5%. Took many losses on Monday and on Tuesday we catched like two really good trades. So I'm pretty much more or less break even for the week. Guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to that channel, smash that like button and drop a comment because every commenter has the chance to win the Genius Trading Masterclass course, guys. The Genius Trading Masterclass course is where I've put all my strategies inside and you're gonna learn all my trading strategies, all my trade management systems, all my risk management systems, everything I really use to get on that level where I am now because I'm trading for more than a decade already. I uh, started when I was 16 years old, um, I'm 27 now. In, de in December I'm turning 28. <clears throat> And yeah, it was a tough ride, guys. Let me tell you that it took me a while until I really became profitable. Like, especially the emotional intelligence part, the discipline part was not easy for me to, to, to manage. And this is probably one of the most, most important part, guys, where most of you struggle. Like, the, to having the emotional intelligence to, yeah, to handle losing streaks as well as winning streaks. And yeah, to gain discipline, you you really need a system. Like this is all you need. Like you need a trading system that you trust and that you follow religiously. If you don't have that, if you don't have trust in your system, I mean, some of you might have a system, some of you might have a strategy, but they're not really having enough uh, enough trust in it to follow it religiously, and then they start to jump from system to system and. Yeah, or they they get they get into this feeling of revenge trading after they took a loss and then they over risk and all that stuff and it all it all comes down to not really having a system not really having rules for yourself for your trading plan and this is where it gets uh, tricky and this is why probably most of the traders are losing traders I'm sure more than 90% of traders are losing traders it all comes down to the discipline to the patience to evolve as a trader to have this to, to create this emotional intelligence because human nature works against us as traders I mean if, if you're a beginner trader, you start to trade, you put your trade into the market, um, you see the profit going up, like, and then you see the profit and you don't want to give it back, so you close early, right? If you see that the trade going against you, as a beginner trader, for example, you don't want to you don't want to realize the loss and you're gonna let it run. You start to hope that it will come back. Then maybe you're gonna take another trade, so you over risk. These are just normal human reactions. I mean, if you see your money flowing up and down, there is there are some emotions attached to the money. And uh, as a trader, you, you cannot attach your emotions to the money. If I would attach emotions to the money, if it would mean something to me, then I would not stick to my plan and I would make emotional decisions when it comes to closing trades maybe too early or um, maybe letting some bad trades run too far. All comes down to straight 
system that you follow guys this is all you need and then you need the emotional intelligence to not get tricked into emotional decisions okay you should always stick to your game plan you should always stick to your system if you're looking for a system if you're looking for advice if you want to learn how to create this emotional intelligence guys then get the genius training master class course join our team we are more than 3,000 students uh, from all around the world from all over the world many students from the US UK um, Australia Canada Spain, Italy, France, um, Netherlands, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, from everywhere, Norway, like from all over the world. You're definitely gonna connect to tra traders from your country as well. Check the links in the description, join the free Telegram channel. You can always drop me a private message if you have some more questions, if you wanna get a little bit deeper into what you're really gonna learn inside the Masterclass course, we can, we can talk privately uh, about that in Telegram as soon as I have time. Just make sure you don't follow anything inside the comment section, guys. Inside the comment section, there are so many fake bots, robots who are just trying to rip you off. So make sure to use only the links in the description, okay? So that was a lot of talking to begin that video. But anyways, let's get straight into the charts, guys. What we had on Monday. <clears throat> so first of all, let's see. This was Friday's movement. We had a high in here. And this is Monday's movement. Overall, guys, um, I was, I was, I, I saw the market like that. I mean, the market was coming down and we didn't took out Friday's lows. So I really wanted to see like a liquidity grab around 9.30 when the New York session starts. I wanted to see I wanted to see nice push above these highs these highs and Then trying to find my entry somewhere in that in that zone after we took out these highs in here So the market really showed me that it wants to turn around, but it was really just playing with us. I Mean I really need to go on the, on the one minute chart to show you exactly why I took the trade I was checking a one minute chart. I was checking the really 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 low time frames for my entry decisions which in this case maybe was not the best idea. Could have could have wiped out some of the losses. I mean, look, <clears throat> I've I've waited for the first liquidity grab in here, and I waited for the second one above these highs. You see that, and then as soon as the market broke structure in here with with momentum i would say it was a, it was a nice push down here we just we would we just went above the 800 level and i thought like okay this break of structure could be it but it wasn't took the first loss then waited for another structure break and we have the structure shift in here another one boom nice pullback i got in again i was like okay now i'm right but nah it was not right took another loss and the market was just slashing around at the beginning of New York session was really tough Monday was not easy to trade but I kept on I kept on pulling the trigger I mean we had another break of structure here, as you can see on the pullback I got in again boom got stopped out again three losses in a row the market just wiped my ass man on the consolidation I was really fucked up at that point but anyways <clears throat> I gave it another try because we had like the most significant high and this is the the high of that exact day which was formed at around uh, Asia session and of course Friday's high uh, so we slashed to both of it and then we had a shift in structure as well so I decided to step into the game in here as soon as we saw that the mark that the structure turned around you see that I mean, we had the break of structure on the one minute like it's really on the one minute is I'm really uh, pushing the button here pretty aggressively like these trades have been pretty aggressive so I took the sell in here put my stop above in here then the market moved I moved my stop like that on this first position I moved my stop like that I didn't tell anybody that I moved my stop so my stop got triggered unfortunately as you can see and after it got triggered in here 
uh, after it got triggered in here I decided to take another one because like it was clearly just a liquidity grab as you can see like the market was coming up boom rejected pretty aggressive we had another break of structure in here and i was i was i was put, pushing the button pretty aggressive so i took four losses in a row which sucked because if i would have just let my stop loss like that it wouldn't wouldn't got, got hit because i gave it a little bit air to breathe anyways the, sec the, the trade number five was a winner but not a big one uh, I closed I closed perfectly market came back strong on that one um, this was just a small win maybe two to one or something so I I took like five losses and I only I uh, took like four losses and I only had two bags so I lost overall I lost like two trades right so I was down I was still down two trades for Monday Later on, I took another sell in here, but I decided to close this one at around break even. Took a little loss on that one as well. So overall, I would say I was like two and a half losing trades down on Monday, which really fucked me up to start a week like that. But yeah, I cannot put emotions into it. I have to stick to my plan. So <clears throat> on Tuesday, I did the same thing, guys. I was checking the charts for some entries for some entry scenarios and I mean as you can see the market was flying like I, I exited here at around break even the sell position and the market was just shooting up so overall I had the feeling that we are going to see some more uh, some more bullish pressure for Tuesday as I saw as we had some highs in here we had some highs in here, high in here, and we had like this huge drop that maybe has to get filled again. So I was expecting like maybe we're going to see push back into this gap in here to fill that gap because the market loves to fill gaps. And yeah, so I was I was on Tuesday, I changed my mind and I tried to buy this thing. So what happened, guys? So we had like the session started and we had this fuckery in here at the beginning of the session as you can see but let's talk about it i mean we had some significant lows from the day before that didn't got triggered uh, so i marked up this one over here i marked up this one and i marked up this one uh, just so to see how the market reacts around these lows and as you can see guys where i took my first well, I took my first trade over here um, because, as you can see, the market had this low in here and it broke kind of like the structure, came back for liquidity grab. Then we had like at 9.30 when the algorithm started kicking, we had like a strong move to the upside with a lot of volume. On the pullback, I decided to step into the game, but it wanted to dip a little deeper. So yeah, I took loss in here. This was my first trade, took the loss on that one. Then I had the second trade, guys. The second trade actually would have been a winner if I would have not moved my stop as I, as I did in the day before. Like the same thing happened yesterday to me. I mean, if you guys didn't move your stop, if you if you manage this position differently you this one would have been a winner for you probably but I I mean after we had this drop in here with that strong push on the pullback I decided to step into the game right which is perfect stop was below everything worked fine but the market was breaking structure again coming up didn't made a new high like created like a huge resistance it came back another time to slap all the stops from the guys who moved their stop quickly so i was involved as well lost lost this position and i did the same thing like yesterday uh, sorry like the day before monday i stepped into the game after i saw that this one is just a liquidity grab like the market was coming down boom then was pushing up then i've put some uh, volume in the market had my stop sitting below here had catched a little bit better entry and I decided to get out of the market at around 11,900 guys. This was where I closed all my position at a 4.5 to 1 risk reward ratio, which was, which was 
lovely because i was able to get some of my losses back and then later on guys um <clears throat> what i did uh, i marked up this significant high and this significant high and as you can see we dropped here pretty aggressively like there is some kind of gap and i expected the market to sl slash through both of these highs and as i saw when, as soon as i saw we had this beautiful break of structure in here market came down on the pullback i decided to step into the game for another sell and then i really tried to hunt i really tried to hunt these lows in here this low this i mean this is the first easiest target to get hit and we took we already took out these two significant highs over there right so this one should be the next one where they can find some business and so i got out in here after i took the buy which was a winner then i took a sell which was a winner i closed i closed here it could be it could have been a much better trade but i um i don't need to chase like the home runs you know what i mean i, I like to pay myself um on the easiest targets this is what gives me consistency i'm not the most patient trader so that's why i take day trades i want to be in and out pretty quick and then inside the same session i always just trade new york session one two hours and i'm good sometimes maybe three or four and that's it i'm working on another section for the genius trade masterclass course i told you guys i'm going to get through all challenges and record every trading session so you can see exactly what kind of trades it took me to pass these challenges to make sure that i help you to pick to become funded traders as well to trade six figure accounts without putting your own money at risk and i mean this is this is this is the path that every beginner trader should strive for don't think about risking your own capital learn the skill set and then get the money from the prop firm trade for them get like get your profit cut of 70 to 80 percent commission from your profits and i think that's cool i mean that's the quickest way to make a living with trading and everybody should do that guys so that's it for today overall guys on the 50k account I took three trading days already and I'm nearly up 5% and yeah, I just need 10% to hit the target. Last time I think I did it in five or six days, trading days. Let's see how long it takes me this time. But after three days I'm already up nearly 5%, so 50% already done. I'm gonna put it all inside the Genius Training Masterclass course, guys. Thank you for watching. I wish you a lovely day. Tomorrow I'm going to take a flight and I'm gonna get baked, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace! Yeah.